So I just wanted to make this quick little video to show my SP44 Mark II powerbank mod. As you saw at the beginning, it's not the cleanest looking mod, but it works, so to me it's good enough. Basically the entire process was based on a video by Rand Dusky, so if I pronounce it wrong, who did this on his OG SP44 two years ago. And because it looked so easy to do and because I found that disposable batteries don't last very long and are annoying, I wanted to do the same with my Mark II. Also I know that with the Mark II you can basically just power it using a USB-C power bank or use the MyVolt whipcord cable, but I still find it better to have it directly integrated instead of just having the power bank hanging outside. And basically the only difference in my process compared to his is that I used the Dremel drill to cut the battery compartment out instead of a heated up box cutter. But also this Dremel is not in a very good shape so it turned on like 1 out of 10 times. So once it was on I cut through as much as I could and I didn't even have the right accessory for it to cleanly cut through the plastic so it was kinda just burning its way through. But anyway I still managed to do it so I guess just use what you have at your disposal for this. Because of this ribbon cable here you need to take extra care while cutting through so you don't accidentally touch it but you could just tape it to the bottom or something so it's out of the way, which I did not, but yeah. So here you can see how the cutout looked at that point, which is really not that clean, but I smoothed it out a bit with another Dremel accessory and sandpaper later on. So basically then all you need to do is cut the cable from the battery compartment and solder it to a USB-A to 9 volt DC cable. And this is very important. I first tried it with a random old USB cable to make sure it works. And while the SP did turn on, it only lasted for the boot up screen and then turned off. So then I looked at Wendusky's video again and noticed that a USB to 9V DC cable is needed for it to work. So yeah, you really need this kind of cable or it won't be enough to power the SP. But I will put in the description the exact cables and power bank I bought. Then there's the other thing he talked about in his video, which is that power banks go into a power save mode after a while. So you basically need to press the power button on the power bank or the SP won't turn on at all. And while I had the same problem, I kind of found a workaround for it, which is that because this power bank's USB-C port, which I mainly use for charging, is an input and output port, you can just connect something that is taking enough power to wake it up without needing to press the button. So the strange thing I found out is that I can just connect this USB-C flash drive I have, which apparently is enough to wake the power bank up. And I also tried other USB-C things such as an USB-C LED, which also works. But just a quick note here, with this workaround, the SP will reboot twice for the power bank to understand what's going on, I guess. But after that, it works just fine. So personally, I can live with that to avoid needing to accept has the power bank's power button all the time. And this also made it possible to have this see-through plexiglass my dad had lying around at the back of the SP to see the power bank's charging level directly. Here are some more pictures of the mod. If you look closely you will see I also had to cut the plastic of the USB cable for it to fit. But this will depend on the cable you have. So yeah I hope this showed you how easy this can be done. I find it very cool to just be able to charge the SP with the USB-C cable and be good to go. Instead of always needing to change the batteries. Drop something in the comments if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next one.